Today's myth is gonna ruffle a few feathers. Mm, but it's necessary. So if you wanna learn what the new myth is for today, stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome to day six of our sexual myth busting Christmas calendar. I'm so happy that you're still with us and if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you've joined us. But make sure to watch our previous videos to get a full context and to, and to take away the most out of this whole experience before Christmas. Because who knows, if you follow the whole thing and you get to Christmas and you, f and you fulfilled your advent calendar of the year, maybe you'll finally be free of all these misconceptions and myths that are holding you back like weights and maybe you'll finally be able to attract the the perfect person to your life maybe that 2024 will be the best year of love you've ever had up up until now and i really hope that's the case for you but give yourself the chance and follow through for the whole challenge so again with me is my mother cecile ellert we're both are my therapists but i'm a sex therapist and she's a doctor in quantum healing therapy so today's myth like i said is a good one it's a doozy it's that one partner can fulfill all our needs. I know that people have very varying opinions and attitudes towards this, but my hot take is that this is such a toxic way of thinking, which is why it's one of my myths. And it's true, people expect that one single person can fulfill their emotional, physical, and social needs. And do you realize how much pressure that is on the other person? And if this was you, if you're the one who was the brunt of this myth, I'm so sorry because that is so much pressure and expectation to be perfect, able, and willing, and, and capable of enduring all of that weight and expectations expectation from another person without even being able to live up to your own needs and expectations for your own mental health and sexual health and so on so to me this really kind of rubs me the wrong way because i was i was the person on the other side of this myth a few years ago so i can i can feel that i understand this but please let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you if you were the one who was enduring this myth if, or if you're the one who just realized that you were like this to someone else let me know in the comments share your thoughts what do you think of this myth please let me know and now on to the good part my mother she will present today's essential oil for you to use so that you can unroot this emotional attachment onto your subconscious so that you can get rid of this belief get rid of get rid of this myth and move on to greener pastures. Hello and welcome. So no, not one partner can fulfill, fulfill all our needs. Mm -mm, that doesn't exist. I believe, you know, if we could choose, I would say that like three partners would be good to fulfill perhaps all our needs. Mm, but who would let, let that happen, you know? Perhaps some, guys do that with women but us women uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen that yet it's a good idea but uh, anyway so since it won't happen there is one essential oil that makes it easier to swallow <laughs> easier, to, easier to accept it is orange sweet orange Sweet orange uh, will uplift your mood and really remind you that you don't need to take life so seriously. Why? Why controlling at the point of making sure that someone <clears throat> fulfill all your needs? Why? You know, depending on someone to fulfill all your needs, it's horrible if this person disappears what do you do? What can happen? Okay, so no, make sure that you are able to fulfill most of your needs. <laughs> and if someone helps you do that, this is the cherry on the cake. So relax and take life less seriously. Let the little bit of fun and joy enter your life. Okay, 
with orange. Mm, I love that. Both shoes. Inhale your orange and let all this crap of control out of your body, out of your mind, out of your beliefs, okay? Mm. It's okay not to be perfect and it's okay not to find the perfect of the perfect person in the perfect world. Make it perfect in how you see yourself. It is your perception that will make a difference. So use orange. Your perception is what will make the whole difference. Your perception is what will make your life easier to live with, with someone that is not perfect. You don't need someone perfect. You need your perception <clears throat> to make you accept when something is not perfect around you. Okay? Enjoy your orange and I'll see you tomorrow.